what is more tangible, perhaps, for us to, 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 to us, for us to hold on to, um, is, is, the, is the claim that uh, we, are, we are run by uh, reptiles, uh, that the royal family um, is, is, is reptilian, uh, the reptile cities under, under the earth, um, and that uh, they include, these Illuminati include uh, presidents and prime ministers, mm -hmm. Bert Bacharach, uh, and uh, Bob Hope. The man who invented the... Sort. Yes, you have. I have, I have. Yes. Bert Bacharach attends uh, a place called Bohemian Grove, yeah. along with people. What I, I've named people that attend Bohemian Grove. Mm. And suggesting that I, they're part of the Illuminati. Right, right. I, I, have, I have named certain people as part of the Illuminati, uh -huh. but other people attend that place and we're not. Well, this is an easier one for us to sort of get a grasp on than, than you know, sort of the, 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 the cosmos as a whole, yeah. is, 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 the, is the belief that our royal family are shapeshifters. Well, where have I got lizards. this from? I mean, did I sit in a darkened room and think, you know, I think that's what it is. I have travelled to more than 40 countries over 14 years. I've talked to thousands of people from every walk of life you can imagine. And once you, you, you start to get a reputation for this, you become a magnet for people who know things but don't know how to get them out, so they come to you. And uh, this whole uh, idea of uh, non-human entities uh, manipulating our world by, if you like, possessing the human form of certain bloodlines, um, has uh, come to me from endless sources uh, of, of people from, like I say, every different walk of life you can imagine, who told me their experiences from people who've experienced seeing members of the royal family uh, in this uh, strange non-human state. I got a call from uh, a lady uh, in America who is uh, the head of an organization called Parents Against Ritual Abuse. Um, I hadn't gone public on this reptilian thing at all at the time, and I was talking to her about the scale of child uh, satanic ritual abuse in America. In the middle of this conversation, she said to me, can you help me? She said, there's something I don't understand. Can you explain why so many of my clients tell me that during these rituals, the participants turn into reptiles? Um, and, and, and this has come to me from so many different sources. Then you go back. And you look at the ancient accounts in Asia, South America, uh, Australia, uh, North America, um, of um, uh, accounts of what happened to them in the ancient past. And what do you find? You find again and again this constantly recurring theme of entities moving between human and reptilian They can't be form. happy that you're, you're, uh, that, 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 that you're sort of outing them. Um, um, why haven't they killed well, you? Well, what, what's kind of interesting is that uh, the attempts to stop me speaking in public and the attempts to uh, stop my books being published massively increased uh, once I introduced the reptilian element to it. Um, I, I have had a tremendous... Uh, Earl was the bestseller uh, there then, eh, David? And a Let's tremendous uh, 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 amount of uh, effort to stop me speaking in public, not least in North America. Mm. Why, if I'm crazy, just leave me to it. Well then, you see, you take symbols like the ancient symbol of the dragon, which is all outside the city of London on the boundaries, presumably the dragon on the Welsh flag. You make a reference to the frog prince, therefore not being a fairy tale because a human has to kiss an amphibious reptile thing. Um, George and the dragon, I suppose, these are all, you think, mythical but real well, the, when, you, when you go back to the ancient world, you find um, that uh, symbolism they use for many things um, uh, turns up in the modern world. And of course, uh, to people that don't understand the symbolism, have not been initiated into the knowledge, they see the symbol and that's it. Mm. But uh, the people behind this uh, manipulation to a global Orwellian fascist state, now I've been talking about this in my books for 14 years, mm. Is anyone really still today so naive that they're not looking around them, particularly since 9-11, and seeing that we are moving daily into this Orwellian global fascist state? Well, we've reached what? the we level that, that the law is now being changed, so when you enter American airspace in a plane, you can't queue for the toilet. I mean, what else well, no, uh, in, in our lives is going to be controlled? Since 9-11, we've certainly, we certainly live in a very, very different world. But, uh, but I, but, but what, where so it who takes, was behind 9-11? Well, it takes, a, very, it takes a, a big old leap of faith to jump into the fact that it was actually caused by lizards. Well, you're talking on, 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 that, on that 
level. When you read this book, Alice in Wonderland and the World Trade Center Disaster, one of many, many books produced since 9-11, with real research and real journalism, you see that the official story of 9-11 is taken apart. It had to be caused and orchestrated within the borders of the United States. You won't see that on Trevor McDonald tonight. You won't see that on, on ITN. But the real researchers and the real journalists who don't work for the mainstream media can take 9-11 apart. It is a lie from start to finish. So you Not one strand of the official story fits with another. So you suggest the Americans, this is you suggesting, not our thoughts, but you suggest the Americans created 9-11 to frighten us into thinking, well, in that case, we must have a war on terrorism. The American, well, yes, on, 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 in a basic theme, yes, but not Americans. The force that controls America and controls the American government. The technique of which 9-11... Which is the city here? Sorry? Which is the city here in, in the UK? Well, it, it, it effectively controlled from Europe. Uh, the uh, America has been set up as a... Um, a uh, big bad Satan so everyone's looking over there that's where the power is America when the real power is actually in Europe in the secret society network where the, the center of the secret society network is but 9-11 is a classic example of a uh, mass mind manipulation technique I've been writing about for years which I call problem reaction solution mm. you want to change society in a way that you know if you operate openly um, you'll get a reaction against it. People say, we're not having this, what are, you, what are you doing? So you play this technique, dead simple. Stage one, you create a problem. You uh, make sure that someone is immediately blamed for it, so the public focus is, oh, that's the villain, so they don't open-mindedly look at who could be behind it. Stage two is you communicate the official version of that story to the public through the media, mainstream media, unquestioned. So you want the public at stage two to say, this can't go on, something must be done, what are they going to do about it? And then at stage three, you openly offer the solutions to the problems you created, which are changes in society, like we've had since 9-11, that fundamentally advance the agenda to the global fascist state. Ask me back in five years' time, well, and you'll be asking different questions. If we hear after the Bible course. Code man who said we would all be well, blown up by 2006. We'll by 2006. David, the thank code. you. It's lovely to see you. We've known each other for years. And that. thank you for coming in. And the book, the book. Tales from the Time Loop. There it and is. And uh, Alice in Wonderland, the World Trade Center. And we'll see you after the break.